this is Lois Romano, and it's time to turn the tables on the Sunday talk shows as we do every Friday. The hot topics this week, the defunding of Obamacare, the unseemly infighting among the Republicans, and the launch of our great new product, Women Rule. Joining us to talk about that and more is CBS's John Dickerson and Fox News's John Roberts. So this has been like the Wild West week in Washington here with the government shut down just looming and the Republicans in this incredible war of words with each other. Can you kind of look forward a little bit for me and tell me what you think this um, acrimony within the party, uh, how it might impact the, uh, the 2014 congressional elections? Well, I think to the extent that, uh, it, so the way it may affect those elections is that if this stays protracted and Republicans keep shooting at Republicans, some of the things that Republican senators have said about their House uh, counterparts and some things now that the, the ultra conservatives in the House are saying about Republican senators, there's some pretty uh, tough words. And that kind of fills out the stereotype that Democrats have been trying hard to portray for the last several years, which is that Republicans are kind of uh, whipsawed by their most conservative faction. Well, now you have Republican senators essentially saying that, that this most conservative faction is responsible for courting this shutdown. So to the extent that that kind of lives on, that you have Republicans confirming Democratic talking points, that you could imagine could come back to haunt Republican candidates in 2014. But the landscape is really bad for Democrats, particularly on the Senate side. So it's going to have to get even worse than it is right now. There's going to have to be a shutdown and some real political consequences, I think, before it plays a big role in the 2014 race. John, talk a, a little bit about um, the current infighting within the Republican Party um, and if, if this is really going to um, harm the brand. Well, you know, there's enough fighting going on between Republicans and Democrats, but it's the Republican infighting really that could you know, derail a lot of things and hurt the brand uh, going forward. Ted Cruz, of course, has said that he is going to do anything he can to try to fight for defunding of Obamacare when the bill hits the Senate. But let's not forget that a couple of days ago, he was already conceding defeat, saying we're in the minority in the Senate. We don't think that we're going to be able to do anything. That really incensed House Republicans who said, Republicans in the Senate, you've got to get on board this fight. You know, if you are, you're either with us or you're against us, and if you're not with us, we're not going to get anywhere with this. So I think Cruz is, uh, is, is feeling the slings and arrows at the moment from his Republican colleagues. And if he decides to run for president in 2016, and there really isn't any indication at this point that he's got the fire in his belly to do that, it certainly could harm his chances among elements of the GOP base. But you know, Ted Cruz is, you know, kind of a brand unto his own, so this may only be a temporary setback. But no question that the Republicans have been all over the map on this continuing resolution, with Boehner floating one idea with Cantor last week, and then the, the conservative wing of the party, the Tea Party wing, saying, nope, you're not going to do that. Boehner giving into that side of the party, which is why we're seeing the continuing resolution that's coming before Congress today. What this seems to tell me, just to add, do a quick follow-up, is that is that there were not a whole lot of lessons learned uh, from the last campaign cycle. Put it this among way, among Republicans. Re <clears throat> put it this way: the Republicans had terrible messaging in the uh, 2012 election campaign, and according to a lot of Republicans I have talked to in the last few days, they still have terrible messaging, and and you'll hear a, a lot of complaining about that. Uh, they keep on putting the same people in the same positions as they have before. And there are some Republicans who believe it's time to shake things up, get some new blood in there, and really fix the messaging before the 2014 midterm elections and certainly before the 2016 presidential election. That's it for this week, and thanks for joining us. Make sure you check out all Politico's Turn the Tables at politico.com slash turn the tables. See you next week.